Let's take a quick overview of the classification based on structure. We're going to go into each of these in more depth in the subsequent videos. But let's get a big picture here first. When we classify them by structure, we're classifying them on how they're put together. We have three classifications. We have fibrous, cartilaginous, and synovial. The fibrous joints are usually the most immovable. We call back, what are the most immovable kind of joints called? Well, they're known as synarthrosis. So there's not a lot of motion or movement here, if any. They're usually joined together by fibrous connective tissue. The next type is cartilaginous. Cartilaginous is amphiarthrosis. There's some movement there. They are usually bound by cartilage. And our last one is the synovial joints. These are diarthrosis. There's lots of movement there. There's typically some sort of joint capsule, which we'll talk about later. So quick review here. We have fibrous, which is bound together by fibrous tissues, thus the name, not a lot of motion, not a lot of movement. We have cartilaginous, bound together by cartilage, some movement there, and the synovial. Quickly, let's take a look at some of the types of joints we find under these classifications. Under fibrous, we have the sutures, the syndesmosomes, and the gomphosis. Under cartilaginous, we have the synchondrosis and the symphysis. And under the synovial, and that's a whole separate lesson, is the hinge, the pivots, the condyloids, the gliding, the saddle, and the ball and socket. Our next video, we're going to become much more familiar with the fibrous joints.